of those days where I feel super overwhelmed from the get-go. So I wake up in the morning, I see all this mess, and it's very typical in my house, but I'm so overwhelmed. And why is that? It's because days like these, the day before I travel, because I am leaving to Chicago on a business trip tomorrow, I am super overloaded with all the things that I have to get done around the house before I leave. Also, the laundry has to be done in order for me to pack. There are some things that I do on days like these that really helps me to settle down, keep calm, and not get angry at everybody in the house. And let me share those five tips with you today. this quote to you that has really touched me. You cannot always control what goes on the outside, but you can always control what goes on the inside. This is by Wayne Dyer. For many, many years, I think ever since I could remember, all the things that I could not control on the outside, like the house drawers, the work, the kids, the pickups, all these many things that we work on in a day, I just, was trying to always be in control and that kind of made me lose control here, if that makes any sense to you. I would just build this anger inside of me and constantly yell, be mad all the time. Of course, the smile is gone. It's totally dismissed out of my life for, for many years, I think. When I read this quote, it made me realize that, hey, you know, all the things that you have to get done is out of your control. They're just there. You have a big family living in this household. You do have a business and you're starting this brand as well. So there's all these things that you're doing, which is uncontrollable because they just have to be done, right? But what I can control is what's in here and how I deal with things. So to me, this is so important and I didn't want to give up. I didn't want to give up and just be angry all the time because that just was too much for me to handle as a person. I want to be a happy mom. I want to be a happy wife. I want to be a happy boss, um, a coworker. These five tips that I am going to share with you has really changed the way I control what's here. Be more happy, more content, not live with this constant like hamster wheel type of a feel. I'm feeling really good about the things that I am doing throughout the day. So let's talk about it. First thing I do is to take a break. When I get this emotionally drained, I lose focus and energy. I stop and take a breather. If you meditate, that's perfect. What I do when I take a break is to make myself a good espresso, iced preferably, and just give myself a few minutes away from every task, everything around the home, just to relax, just to think, happy thoughts. I stretch, sometimes I journal. Basically, it's a moment where I just enjoy my me time, doing absolutely nothing most of the time. I love a good pen and paper during anxiety season. It's now time to declutter my head, write down all the things, and it does not have to make any sense here, down on paper. From tidy the living room to get that major project for work completed, I jot it all down. Once I make a list of hundreds of things to do, well, it feels like it anyways, I go back with a highlighter to pick and highlight my top three wins for the day. What are my top three wins? Think about it. When you look at this brain dump list that you just made, you probably have at least five or more tasks you have to get done today, like a must. In my life, I typically have 10 things. Ask yourself what three tasks will make you so proud of yourself tonight. 
The word yourself is the matter here. It'll really depend on your priorities. Now it's time to design your action plan. For me, there's no specific time of day I do this. I design my day anytime I feel overwhelmed. It could be in the middle of the day or even at night. My action plan will include the top three highlighted tasks along with many other small things to do. This is not just a simple task list. It's a design of how my day will flow. It'll take a little something like, first, I'm going to make my bed, tidy the master bathroom, and put away the dishes. Next, I'll run a load of laundry and put on my timer for 53 minutes, which is how long my laundry machine takes to run a load, and work on my work project. When the timer goes off, I move the laundry to the dryer and work on my blog for the next 45 minutes while the dryer is drying the load. For lunch, I'll make myself a yogurt plate with strawberries, blueberries, and banana. I'll eat while catching up on my Korean drama. You get the point. It's a day design and not just a task list. In between my day, I take a few minutes to stretch and get some short tasks done. For me, tidying up an area of the house for five minutes or running a load of laundry allows me to get things done without feeling like I've taken away so much time away from my work tasks. At the same time, I'm getting to those less important things to do without feeling too overwhelmed about the long list of things I have to get done in a day. The last but most important is this deep focus work time. I use this time for various things. Sometimes it's putting away the loads of laundry and other times it's spent working with my son on his virtual learning. It just really depends on the top three wins of the day. But most often, however, I use this time to pop on my favorite chill music and get some business work done. Whatever it is that's overwhelming you today, just as I started off my day, it's okay. I'm able to control it right here. So now I'm going to get to these and I'll let you go for now. But in the comments down below, let me know what's been working for you. What tips did you take home today? Until next time.